Good morning. This is the Rambling Zone Discipline Mind Podcast for Wednesday, November 4th, 2015. So I just left the dentist. Got a couple fillings in, small ones. It didn't take very long, less than half an hour or so. That's cool. And I'm heading to work. I uh, I wrote about 1,500 words this morning, so I'm a little bit short of the average daily day uh, word count. Uh, but I'm over the 12,000 word mark at this point, and so I will probably try to get another couple hundred, maybe 500, maybe try to maybe try to break the 2,000 mark today. That shouldn't take me too long, right? 500 words, half an hour. So I might try to get that done tonight. Um, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. I don't know about it. I, yeah, I don't know. I think it's coming along. I, I'm still kind of, I'm very much pantsing this one. I only have a vague idea of where I'm heading. So I'm kind of discovering as I move, as I move through this, what what the story is and a little bit more about the characters and whatever. Anyway, what I thought I'd talk about today is other people's passions. You know, one of the one of the great things I think about the internet, and there are lots there's lots of bad things. I'm not gonna talk about those because we, we hear about those all the time. That's old news. But one of the cool things is that you know, people use it to share their passions, and, and other people's passions are different than my passions. And I do find it interesting, you know, from time to time to, you know, to learn about other people's, you know, what, what other people are into. And so there's this blog I found years ago called Odd Things I've Seen, or OTIS, O-T-I-S, for short. And, you know, this guy, it started off as, as kind of visiting uh, odd places in the, predominantly the New England area, because that's where he lives. Uh, it's run by a guy named J.W. Ocker. And, you know, so he's in the oddities, he's into Poe, um, which kind of fits if you're into oddities. Because Poe was an oddity both in his writing life and in his personal life. And he's also really super into Halloween. He does like a blog post a day during Halloween. I think he does one a week the rest of the time. And so like right now he's, for this month, he's living in Salem site of the witch trials of past fame and he's because he's gonna write a book about it apparently but he's 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 really into halloween so he he talks about halloween time he talks about you know horror movies he watches and and he has his wife who's not really a super big horror buff uh once a year he'll introduce her to a to a horror movie um and get her reactions and share that on the blog and uh, that's kind of interesting because she's kind of like coming, you know, like if I was going to watch, she's, she's kind of coming from outside. Obviously, she's got a bit of an appreciation for it, uh, being married to this guy, but it's not her primary genre. And, and so it's just really interesting stuff for me. You know, he, he, he's a funny writer. I enjoy his posts. And even though the subject matter isn't necessarily something that I'm going to be super into, you know, we, we share enough of a, a shared culture in that, you know, he, he... I know most of the movies he talks about. I may not have seen them. Some I have. Um, you know, but it's just kind of fun to listen to an enthusiast. Um, you know, talk about something they're enthused by. The other one is has got to be Will Wheaton with his, his gaming. You know, he... I, I like playing games. You know, I'm talking like tabletop games, board games, card games, 
Um, and I'm talking, you know, I'm talking like Uno and Phase Ten, not so much Solitaire and Poker, but uh, or Munchkin, which is a card-based game, or Killer Bunnies or Killer Rabbits. Killer Rabbits, I think it is. Um, but you know, he's. He, he spends a lot of time doing this. I mean, it's something that's kind of a major recreational focus of his life. And, you know, from that spawned the show Tabletop, which is a uh, show that's on YouTube. And I like to watch those. Basically, it's, you know, they get a game and they get some people together and they sit and play the game and they explain the game to you. Um, as you as you play it. That was my first exposure to tabletop. Man, there's a lot of cops around today. That was my first, uh, to, to Munchkin. I think I said it was my first exposure to tabletop. Uh, yeah. No, that was my first exposure to the game Munchkin, which we subsequently got a copy of. Um, and we also played it, we had some friends that we played it with and decided it was, it was a lot of fun. So, so yeah, it's you know he, he's way more into that stuff than I am. He plays you know way more than I do. He's in a regular D and D group, I believe, uh, or at least he plays it occasionally. He goes to gaming conventions, you know. So it's just kind of interesting to to you know read his blog and then I follow the I follow the, the you know the, the channel he's on, which is called Geek and Sundry, which was created by him and Felicia Day. And it's just it's just cool how enthused he is by I guess I call them table games. I don't know I don't know board games whatever you want to call them. Some of them have boards and some of them don't. And it kind of I feel like it kind of broadens my horizons instead of constantly just reading about the stuff that interests me and the stuff that I'm passionate about. You know I. I I feel like I get a little bit, I learn a little bit more about the world if I, if I read about what other people are into, because you know, it's not all about me. I know that's a surprise, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's not all about me. It's mostly about me, but it's not all about me. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, of course. It is all, no, I'm not. Uh, anyway, but I guess I'll let that be that for today, um, and uh, and continue on my drive to work. Uh, I'm I'm thinking a lot about my my nano novel. I, I kind of get drawn into thoughts about that, but uh, maybe I'll talk about that tomorrow. Anyway, uh, I will be back on the road tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.